make no mistake about it. To replace a talent like Shaq Davis ain't easy to do. It's not easy. But to think that we are hurting for weapons is a big mistake on your part. Whoever you are that's doubting this, it's a big mistake. I think we're 30-something days away from the MIAC Swag Challenge now. I'm getting more excited. A lot of us are. We're anxious because we want to see that round two matchup. As a Bulldog fan, I definitely want to see it. Corey Fields is a guy who has a national championship under his belt. Ignore last season because that was an anomaly. You won't see that again. He's ready to go. But as important as Corey Fields is to the success of our season, the weapons that he has at his disposal are just as important. And because people seem to think that we don't have any, this is why I'm making this breakdown of some, not all, but some of the receivers. So y'all can see that we have talent. We ain't depleted, we ain't hurting for nothing. Y'all forgot, this is an NFL factory in Orangeburg. So let's get into it. I'm gonna give y'all six receivers tonight, just six. There's more, but I'm gonna just give y'all six of them. Start with Rakeem White, 6'5", 181 pounds. And my guy is just uber athletic. I have seen him return kicks. I have seen him be pressed by defensive backs, beat those DBs, and make a big play. I've seen this man get gang tackled, or at least we thought he got gang tackled, and he broke out of it from at least four to five guys and took off down the sideline to score. Rakeem White is a problem, and with that wingspan that he has, it makes his catch radius damn near unstoppable. And to be 6'5 and have the speed that he does, ladies and gentlemen, it's insane. It's insane. So that's one target. Then you look at the guy who was the second leading receiver behind Shaq Davis statistically, Jordan Smith, who nobody talked about. Jordan Smith, 5'10", 175 pounds, finished the season last year with 18 receptions for, I think, 300 yards and three touchdowns in just eight games of play. What I like about Jordan Smith is that he does a very good job of high pointing the football in the air. He attacks it when it's in the air, and I love that about him. If you throw that ball up to the corner of the end zone, don't no matter if you double teaming him, triple teaming him, he's coming down with that ball. You put that ball in the right spot, Jordan Smith is gonna come down with that nine times out of 10. And he's also a very gifted route runner. I love the way he catches the football. When it comes to his ball tracking skills, I do think it's very impressive. So even if the ball isn't the most accurate, if it's in his vicinity, he knows how to contort his body to come down with the catch. Then you look at another guy who is also a very gifted route runner, Justin Smith Brown. 6'1, 190 pounds. What I love about Justin Smith Brown, and I made a video on him last year, is that his speed and his quickness, insane, right? If you want to use him as screens, you can do it. If you want to put him on a jet sweep, you can do it. However, you have to get him the ball, get him the ball. But what I like most about Justin Smith Brown is his ability to create separation between him and the DB. Because of that quickness, we know about the speed, but it's the quickness that gets you. The sudden burst, the sudden cuts in and out of his breaks. That's what gets you. And like I said earlier, just a, a gifted route runner. Him, Jordan Smith, those two are gifted route runners, man. Those first three guys you're going to see a lot of. This season. Now let's go to a guy who I have been more than anxious on his when it comes to his debut because I was very excited when he first committed to South Carolina State right after the celebration bowl. He was a part of that class. His name is Cyrus Ellison. Cyrus Ellison has the tools to be a great wide receiver. 6'4, 200 pounds. He has all of the tools to be a great wide receiver. Physically, this kid came out of high school looking like at least at least a, a red shirt sophomore on the field. And he was just a freshman. So listen, one-on-ones with him, it's a dub. Something I didn't even notice about him until I saw it at the spring game was his speed. He got burners. Do not do not sleep on the speed of Cyrus Ellison. He can get away from you, especially once he, get a, once he gets a full head of steam. But when it comes to one-on-ones, he's going to outdo you every time. He's going to outdo you every time. He's already bigger. You're not going to find much 6'4 corners out there, so he's most likely going to be taller than your DB. Then you look at another guy from that class who I was also very excited about, Shamonte Burgess. Shamonte Burgess was one of the fastest players 
in the state when he committed. One of the fastest players in the state. I mean, at 5'10", 175 pounds, Shamonte Burgess is dangerous in the open field. He's dangerous in the space. That is not a kid who you want to get into the open space. I mean, if you're South Carolina State, you do. But if you're the opposing defense, you don't want to see that kid in open space. Kick return, punt return, whatever you want to put him on, he got the speed to do it. If you want to give him a quick screen, you, you had better close that distance between you and Shamonte, or it's lights out. You gonna hear the band play if you don't close that distance quick between Shamonte and you. That kid has enough speed to outrun you on every single angle. And don't even get me started on the acceleration. It's something crazy. And then last but not least, because like I said, it's more receivers. I'm just talking about six. Richard Bailey. Maybe y'all remember Richard Bailey. I hate them because it's Jackson State fans on this video, let's be real. Uh, Richard Bailey was the guy who caught that touchdown in the corner of the end zone on Nugget back in the Celebration Bowl. Maybe y'all remember him. I know y'all remember him. You can easily go look it up. Yeah, he's back for his last year of eligibility. Now, I believe he's around 5'10", Richard Bailey. I could be mistaken, but I'm sure he's around 5'10". Um, so he will be primarily in the slot because he's a, a relatively smaller guy. Still very skilled and he goes to work on that inside. Inside those hatches, he goes to work. And because this is his last year of eligibility, number one, the hunger is at an all-time high because this could potentially be his last time putting on pads, potentially. So there's always that. And he's bringing a certain level of experience that a lot of guys don't have because again, he is in his last year. And I know for a fact he'd do anything to not only get back to Atlanta, but get another touchdown in Atlanta too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a whole week full of Bulldog content. Just know, it's a mistake to doubt us, man. It is a mistake to doubt the Bulldog. Remember what happened last time. Don't let last year fool you. The revenge tour is almost ready to start. Y'all could either get on the bus now or you can watch it as we pass by. With that being said, you are watching the Blitz City Podcast. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so also. It helps me out tremendously. On top of that, like the video, share the video if you enjoyed it so that others may enjoy it as well. And I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.